moons ago, when things weren't so great. Anthony Tobias Tiger, a true cultural icon. He really was one of the greats. His influence has permeated every aspect of our modern culture, and can be seen far and wide online. But behind his pained smile lies a dark history. One full of mystery and tragedy. Today, we uncover the dark history of Tony the Tiger. The Kellogg's mascot, Tony the Tiger. How did he become Kellogg's mascot? Why did he declare revenge against the furries? And why was he eventually replaced by basketball's Shaquille O'Neal? Well, it all started a long, long time ago. Tony the Tiger was hired by Kellogg's as their mascot in 1952. But he wasn't just handed this position. He had to fight for it. He campaigned hard against three fierce opponents. Elmo the Elephant, Newt the New, and Katie the Kangaroo. For unknown reasons, Elmo and Newt dropped out a few months into the campaign. Tony was suspected of foul play, but this was never proven. At least, not in the court of law. However, Katie the Kangaroo stood strong, appearing on thousands of boxes of Frosted Flakes alongside Tony the Tiger. But after a mysterious accident that left Katie unable to speak, Tony the Tiger was dubbed the official mascot of Frosted Flakes. His fame quickly spread over the nation, selling millions and millions of boxes of cereal. Now, I want you to listen to this audio clip. They're great! Did, did you hear it? Listen one more time. They're great! You hear it, right? Tony the Tiger is Italian! And in the 1970s, a commercial was created introducing us to his Italian-American family. Now, you've got his wife, Mrs. Tony, his son, Tony Jr., and his grandma, Mama Tony, who has strong ties to the Italian mob. Now, unfortunately, the footage was lost. However, we were able to recover the script and recreate what it might have looked like. Mom! We're out of Frosted Flakes! What do you mean, out of Frosted Flakes? How was work, dear? It was great! Where's my pathetic excuse for a son? What's with the insults, Mama? I made it big. My cereal is a hit. The tiger name is famous. Mama, why is father angry? Lil Tony, your father is very passionate about what he does. You'll never amount to anything, Tony. You're just like your father. You always were a heartless bitch. What more can you say? Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! Strangely enough, Tony Jr. spent some time on another cereal box, Kellogg's Frosted Rice. Unfortunately, not a single person bought it, and Tony Jr. was killed by poachers. So the cereal was discontinued. After the death of Tony's son, he seemingly disappeared from the limelight, selling cereal to get by, just chilling behind the scenes. It wasn't until July 2013, with the creation of the official Tony the Tiger Twitter, that he was thrust back into fame. Perhaps a bit too much fame. See, once people and furries realized Tony the Tiger had a Twitter, they knew they finally had a direct line to the big man himself. And boy, did they use it. See, you couldn't scroll down Tony's Twitter without seeing things like this, which I actually have to blur because I can't show that on YouTube. And this was all over. There's so much buff Tony art. It is ridiculous. I don't know what people are doing with their time, but they're drawing buff Tony the Tiger. There is so much art of this character, arguably more than any other serial mascot. And it's, it's all terrible. I hate all of it. You guys are degenerates. Fuck you. Could Tony have just let it go? Ignored the people being horny on Maine? And just kept posting about his love of Frosted Flakes? Sure. But Tony is a man of the people. People like his son, who would have been disgusted at the sight of what was on his account. 
So Tony took to blocking anyone who posted anything lewd or distasteful on his posts. But that was his mistake. The internet sprung into action, demanding justice for those blocked from seeing Tony the Tiger's glorious content. The hashtag TonyTigerGate began trending, and things were not good. They're great! No, for real, it got pretty bad. The furries were relentless. Eventually, Tony had to privatize his account and disappeared from the public eye once more. Many believe the Kellogg's Corporation is actually keeping Tony hostage, forcing him to produce commercial after commercial for them. The hashtag free Tony Tiger was trending, but still, no one has heard a word from the famous beast. And Twitter is the least of Tony's worries. The walls are closing in. The CDC has realized that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are not actually that healthy for you. Which is ridiculous, I mean, come on, they're, they're good. And this is the Minecraft version. This shit about to make your bones into bedrock. Most people have reached one logical conclusion. Tony the Tiger is dead. Has been for years. Twitter was the final straw. Poachers finally caught up with him and he let them in. He gave up. There was no solace for this poor tiger. But that's just what they want you to think. See, I know Tony's still out there. Shaq is just filling in for him while he works on a top secret operation. Operation Tiger Nuts. Now this is only known to a few. His location, a well-guarded secret known only by the federal government. But if only I could speak to him, if I could talk to him, if I could speak with the big man himself, we could fix this. There just, there has to be a way. There, life isn't fair. Tony, Tony, what do I do? Please give me guidance. There has to be something. I don't know what, wait, Tony, no. T Tony? That's right. We need you. The world has gone to shit since you left. Calm yourself, my child. My disappearance was not a mistake. Rather, it was a consequence of the failings of humanity. But when will you return? The world is not ready for my teachings. When a sugary breakfast cereal can ignite such hatred and passion, we can no longer find peace or unity. There has to be a way. There has to! Perhaps there is. But these mere mortals hold me to an impossible standard. No matter what I say, it will never be enough. They always want more. They will never be satisfied. People who live like this aren't good. They're great! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. If you really like what you see, check out the Patreon. You get access to a lot of behind the scenes content. I'm probably gonna give this to a Patreon supporter. I don't know what to do with it. And you get access to all the assets I use in the video. So it's pretty cool. Stay excellent, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Potato chips, potato, 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 pot